I'm Saga Prosha, Winter Kosh Game, Tony Goraku, Benny Gant, Ivoraku, Augustus Pishil, Tekosh Pishil, Derfar, Sean Padre, Shorter from Moraku. I mean, you should let Eric Olam in your blowout and shock as some Winter Kosh Game, come week as all Cree, a go all the Hyan, and an other, a fad, a renishet on Pogel Kosh Game, a red in the winter. We gather this morning on the occasion of John Penny Joe's retirement to pay tribute to him for all his service to our community over the years. John Murphy became postmaster in his game the year John F. Kennedy was elected president of the United States of America. In the intervening period, there has been seven Irish presidents, 12 Irish Taoiseach, six popes, six parish priests, and six Catholic curates. And just to try it for good measure, we've had three county titles. I'm not sure what order I should have put that in. But fittingly, like John F. Kennedy, John Perry Joe's motto was, Ask not what Kish Game can do for you, but what you can do for Kish Game. When John became postmaster, it was the communications center of our community. Deaths, births, and marriages were communicated to the post office. He did his work with a sense of duty and confidentiality. Whether holding the few cards for the match on Tuesday, or indeed the Valentine's card for the blushing fire girl. I remember well when my grandfather died and the funeral cortege arrived in the churchyard. John approached my uncle Johnny with a telegram from Brazil, uniting a family in sorrow across the world. Over the years, John Murphy has been the definition of community. His love of Kish game is second to none, whether in the post office or the village, keeping it tidy, which is the envy of all. There are messages right across the globe. If you look at the Facebook last night, it was from every continent in the, in the world. I have some messages. I know that this has been being live, and a special mention, I suppose, to Connie Murphy, Connie Petty Joe, and to Seamus Murphy, who can't be with us, but are certainly with us here in spirit, and have been with us over the last week to salute John Murphy. I have a message from Father John O'Reardon, your first cousin. I wish to thank John and Mary, I wish him a sincere thanks, for 60 years of dedicated service 
to the people of Kishkeim and that way back. We were privileged to have them for so long and to enjoy the benefits of their pleasantries in the post office, in the community, and in the chapel. Love, Father John. Ladies and gentlemen, it is no exaggeration to say that right across the globe today, people of Kishkeim everywhere salute you, John Petty Joe. We thank you, and you inspire us. And long may you continue to inspire the future generations of our community, because you have done so much for so long for our people. And anyone in our community, if they did a third of what you have done, it would be a massive achievement. Congratulations on your retirement. Our legend, John Petty Joe. Martin O'Leary, our postman, our postman, who does some very dedicated service in a very efficient and professional manner as well, to present a bouquet of flowers to Anne O'Sullivan. Sorry, to Anne O'Mahony, I beg your pardon. <laughs> She's in this game now. I for, uh, Anne, um, uh, who has been the forefront of our post office for some time, so I'd ask uh, Martin to present a bouquet of flowers to Anne. And we also salute Catherine, who cannot be here today, uh, and we wish her well. So, to Anne, thank you sincerely. to present a bouquet of flowers to you know her in the village is Mary Murphy but I come from Means so we know her as Mary Fitz <laughs> and we can't even to her in title of Mary Fitz. But to Mary, thank you for being the rock behind John Perry Joe and for your dedication to our community. We say a sincere thank you Mary because John behind every successful man there's an equally successful woman so thank you Mary. Now, Betty Casey, on behalf of the Development Association, will present a painting to John Murphy for a thank you from the Development Association, not alone for his work in the post office, but indeed for his work in the wider community. So, Betty Casey to John Murphy on behalf of the Development Association. will now present a beautiful painting, his own painting, of the village of Kishkeim to John Murphy. And it's a credit to his presentation, but it's also a credit to Timmy Joe, a lost talent within our community. residents in the community and of course a lifelong friend of John Petty Joe's uh, who uh, 
myth and the thought affairs of the village and the fourth nation and international on a daily basis over the generations. So uh, a beautiful cake that has been made by Mary Frances O'Connor and we now get Mary Ann Conan to present the cake to John Penny Joe. And Marianne is also going to present a card on behalf of the community to John Murphy. Marianne, I suppose, represents the generations of people of Fish Game that have been served by John Pity Joe over the generations. So we, uh, through Marianne, are presenting this cake and indeed a token to the to John in, in gratitude.
for me to be here today. Now Michael has said so much already about you, John. All I can say is this morning, I met somebody and I said, well, she came to my door giving me something, and I said to her, close your eyes now, I said, and say one sentence about John Paddy and Joe. Don't even be thinking. And she said, the greatest gentleman I ever met. And I said, even after me? And she said, yes, even after you. The greatest gentleman that ever met. John, you are the greatest gentleman. I was thinking to myself, you know, that if, maybe I'm wrong now, if John, but if a letter came to the post office addressed to Joe Soap, the world, that you're going to do all, everything you could find in order to get that person. And I know, John, that you would get it. Because you would notify all your friends, whether they're guards or teachers or clergy or whatever they are. You would find Joe Soap, Ireland. And you do so, John, with kindness and with tact and with generosity. And I think those words, kindness, tact, and generosity, describe you, John, more than anything else. You're a wonderful, wonderful man. You're a wonderful Kish game man. I remember on Christmas night a number of years ago, I was totally out of petrol. I could not go anywhere. And I went down to your house, John, at about 12 o'clock, and I said, John, I'm stuck. No problem, whatever. He got up, came down, and gave me the petrol. And John, that's only typical of the kind of man you are. You would do literally anything for anybody. So thank you, John, for that. <laughs> and also, you might be saying already, the post office line is the hub of the community. And John, you post office was the hub of our community here in Kishkane. And I know that, you know, like we, we are sad in a way that is closed, very sad. But I do know that you and Mary have contributed so much, not only to the parish, but also even to me as a priest. It means so much to me. Your help and your support to me has been just fantastic. And not just to me, I know, but to the priest before me. And that is wonderful for any priest, for me and to any community. So I, again, I want to thank you for that. But above all, John, I want to thank you for being the man you are. I remember when I was teaching one time, teaching English, and there was a tribute made by God, I better get it right now. I think that could be some English. Um, a tribute made to Eamon, where are you? In my hour of need. A tribute made to Mark Antony, no, to Brutus by Mark Antony. He ended up by saying, his life was gentle, and the elements so mixed in him that nature might stand up and say to all the world, this was a man. John, this is the man. Again, I am the, the parish priest here, and I'm just done, and this is very, very happy to come, and thank you, and good time, you And now I bless the, 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 I bless many things in my life, and thank you very much. This is the first prayer. <laughs> now, Lord, uh, dear Lord, we thank you for, for John, and for Mary, and for the family. We thank you, Lord, for all of us as a community. We are here in the presence of Our Lady in this beautiful garden. And this is a place where people can relax and sit and meditate and close their eyes, you know, and just, and it's lovely to have a place like that, a kind of a haven in every community. I ask you, Lord, to bless, to bless John, to bless Mary, to bless all the family, and bless all of us. And bless this seat, because a lot of people will sit here, and when you sit here, you'll get all kinds of inspiration, I'm certain. So, would we just say the first, part of the Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Fresh and green are the pastures where he gives me repose. The restful waters he brings me to revive my drooping spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, bless you and bless the seed and bless us all in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So God bless you all and thank you. Thank you.
So again, we come to the end of our journey. We gather as a community. Our community gathered together a couple of weeks ago to say how are we going to pay tribute to our hero, to our legend, John Denny Joe. And we have come together this morning. So I hope that you found it uh, a good and entertaining, and more importantly, that it was a fitting tribute to our hero, John Denny Joe, and his wife Mary. So I have no more to do except to thank all and everybody who helped in organizing today to thank John especially for his dedication over the years to our community and to the young people of our community to look to John for inspiration because he is the essence of community man. He's the essence of what we should be. Pride in our community means pride in our nation and pride in our world. And John Teddy Joe needs that. So again, thank you. So uh, we have no further to do except to ask our brass band who have been fantastic today. Uh, John was an inspiration in we getting the brass band going a number of years ago. And again, uh, he was there at the head of it again a couple of years ago to get it going. He has stayed in the brass band. We are exceptionally proud that the brass band are here uh, in their full regalia and continue to go from success to success and add to our occasion here in Kish Game. So it's over to you, whatever way you feel finish it, whatever tunes you want to, but on my part of it is done, and to thank each and everyone who contributed today, especially the group that met in ad hoc conditions or in different locations over the last couple of weeks to put it together. So again, ladies and gentlemen, Stan, of the Spanner, of the Spanari, and go hard with you.